Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're answering an important question for anyone considering an Apple display. Should you choose nano texture or standard glass? Is the more expensive option really better or is the regular glass just as good? We'll compare both options in five key categories. So stick around until the end to find out which one is right for you. First, how do nano texture and standard glass compare in terms of reflections and glare? Standard glass is like a traditional glossy screen. It delivers sharp, vibrant visuals, but can reflect a lot of light, especially in bright environments or near windows. Nano texture was designed to fix this issue. Its surface is laser etched to diffuse light, significantly reducing glare and reflections. This makes it a great option for bright workspaces where glossy screens can be distracting. Second, does nano texture affect image quality and sharpness? Here's where nano texture has a small downside. Since the etched surface diffuses light, it can make the image appear slightly softer compared to the crisp clarity of standard glass. Standard glass gives you the sharpest and clearest image, while nano texture has a slightly more matte appearance. However, the difference is subtle and may not bother most users. Third, which display is easier to clean and maintain? Nano texture requires extra care. Apple specifically warns against using regular cleaning cloths or liquid cleaners, as they could damage the textured surface. It comes with a special cleaning cloth that you must use carefully. Standard glass, on the other hand, is much easier to clean. You can wipe off fingerprints and dust without worry. Fourth, how does nano texture affect color accuracy? Both versions offer excellent colors and contrast. However, because nano texture scatters light, it can cause a slight loss in contrast compared to standard glass. This might be noticeable in dark scenes or HDR content, but the difference is minor. For professionals working with photography, design, or video editing, standard glass might be the safer choice for precise color accuracy. Now the big question, is nano texture really worth paying extra for? Apple charges several hundred dollars more for the nano texture option, a steep price for an anti-glare finish. If you work in a bright environment and glare is a major issue, it could be a worthwhile investment. But if you mostly work in controlled lighting and want the sharpest, most vibrant image, standard glass gives you the better value. So which one should you buy? Here's my final verdict. Choose nano texture if you work in bright spaces and need minimal glare. It's also important to mention that while it's true that nano texture glass has slightly lower sharpness and color accuracy, the difference is really minimal compared to the amount of reflection reduction it provides. Choose standard glass if you want maximum sharpness, better contrast, and an easier to maintain display. Which one would you choose? Nano texture or standard glass? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Apple and tech content. See you next time.